RaceCloud's live telemetry system, the GoCard bundle, is composed of few modules, every one of them supplied with dedicated mounting accessories right out of the box, allowing quick and easy mount on the GoCard. The normal time for mounting the system is approximately 15 to 20 minutes. The first step for easy installation of the GoCard bundle is to remove the nose from its clips that hold it onto the GoCard chassis. Then unscrew the two bolts holding the upper part of the nose in preparation to tighten the go-kart's box console with them in the next step. We're using wrenches 10 and 11, but sizes may vary for different chassis. Then place the go-kart box into the console as shown and fix it with the two bolts applied. Make sure that they are not firmly tightened and may wiggle a bit, so that you could adjust the consoles with when installing onto the go-kart. You will need a hex wrench number 5. Extend the console to fit within the space of the nose brackets and reattach the bolts to the cart nose. Tighten them again with wrench 10 and 11. Make sure that you place the console and the box pointing only downwards with connectors facing away from the lower portion of the nose panel of the go-kart. Just for demonstration purposes and better visibility we have turned the box with its connectors upwards. Now tighten the bolts of the console and secure a firm fit. You may want to double check if everything is ok. Keep in mind that for your convenience the system status LED should be visible for the driver at all times. Having this done it's time to find the appropriate spot on the cart nose to install the go-kart motion and connect modules and their common plate. Now for some measurement first. It is crucial at this stage to determine where to drill the four holes needed to mount the common plate for the connect and motion modules. Align the nose's holes with their corresponding bolts. In that position measure if the cables of the connect and motion easily can reach the box's connectors. Do not worry, the motion and connect's cables are manufactured so they can fit all sizes and shapes of go-kart noses. After finding the right position of the common plate, mark it and using it as a pattern, drill two small holes with diameter approximately 6 mm to accommodate the plate's bolts and two bigger ones through which the module's cables will go on. Firmly tighten the common plate with the two bolts, nuts and washers supplied. Reinstall the nose in its place. Clip the go-kart motion and connect modules onto the plate and insert the cables under the nose. Check the secure fit. Keep in mind that the motion module should be in front of the connect and facing the direction of travel in order to assure the correct telemetry operation. Now you only need to plug the motion and connect cables into the box's connecting ports. Any port is ok and you don't need to worry about plugging in wrong. After inserting the cables into the connectors, twist the cap at the end of the cable to ensure the best possible fix. The next module that needs to be installed is the go-kart display. For that purpose, a dedicated bolt and nut are supplied, as well as two washers if needed. Make sure it's tight and securely fixed. Check if the display's cable allows the steering wheel to perform its full 
turning radius without causing any tension of the cable. Fix it on the appropriate spots with cable ties so it will not get loose, thus risking to get entangled on any objects during steering wheel rotation. After ensuring this, you can now plug the display into any of the boxes ports available. The next element for installation is go-kart temp, which is the temperature sensor. Its dedicated thread, the 13 wrench head and the quick link connector allow you to easily fit it on the dedicated hole in the engine and tighten it in place. As the race cloud's telemetry system is equipped with combined RPM temp sensor, you only have to plug one connector to any of the boxes available ports and then fix the wiring firmly to the chassis. Find a convenient spot to attach the small box of electronics controlling the RPM and temp sensors. Keep in mind that the race clouds RPM and temp cables are meant to go along the two different sides of the seat. The thin RPM cable taking the long way on the opposite side of the engine while the temp cable reaching the engine directly along the shorter side. Make sure that the cables are firmly fixed on the chassis so they cannot touch the ground or any moving objects. Use as many cable ties as needed. Check the user manual about the appropriate number of cable loops of the RPM on the spark plug cable depending on the engine type. The same goes for the power cable. Find its path from the battery to the power connector on the go-kart box. Fix it tightly to the battery's positive and negative terminals and tie it to the chassis. Finally, you need to plug your go-kart weather on any of the remaining ports and you're ready to plug the power cable and dive in the whole new race cloud live telemetry experience.